brooms and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Cream colored ponies and crisp apple strudels, doorbells and sleigh bells and schnitzel with noodles, while geese that fly with the moon on their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes, silver white winters that melt into springs. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dogs bite, when the bees sing, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things, and then I don't feel so bad. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes, silver white winters that melt into springs. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog fights, when the bee sings, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite Tonight, as you know, it is all about the votes. Yeah. This may be your last chance to explain to the people sitting at home why they should vote for you and make you Maria. Well, what can I say? I mean, Andrew wasn't impressing me this evening, but I hope that the people at home were. Um, going to Salzburg really made me realize just how much I am like Maria. I mean, I was at fashion college not knowing what I wanted to do. I've come here and totally found myself, and this is what I hope to do for the rest of my life. Um, similarly, Maria, when she found the captain and the children, found where she belonged. That's kind of how I feel. All right. Uh, David, seeing Siobhan in the costume, singing a song from The Sound of Music, has it helped you visualize Siobhan as Maria? Absolutely. Um, I think uh, Captain Von Trapp would be delighted to see you there, <laughs> especially in the curtains, just as much as I would. Um, I think that you sang, that was much better, that song, for me vocally than the last one. I see what you mean in terms yeah. of that sitting in a better position yeah. uh, for Siobhan. I'm still waiting for that just sort of, you know, emotional explosion from you, that final lift-off that I think it'll take to actually grab those votes and win this competition tonight. Just a little bit more on the emotional side. Just, just a bit. John, is Siobhan your kind of Maria? She is. Siobhan, you sung like an angel. You look beautiful. You are so watchable. You told a story, and you're putting up such a great fight, and I love a good fight. I want to see you get there. <coughs> Keep yeah. going. And, and Zoe, it's all about the voice. Was that the voice of Maria? You sang that really, really beautifully, and that's where I feel happiest and, and, and comfortable listening to you, um, when you're singing very high and very sweet. And let's not forget, so does Maria. Yep. All right. Uh, Nice comment to the panel, an eloquent plea from Siobhan. Andrew, if Siobhan was to be crowned Maria, what would she bring to the role? Well, she is absolutely lovely. She's delicious and um, absolutely in every way you're delightful. My biggest concern, though, is what I said earlier. And I just don't think you're quite ready. I think, don't think that I'm saying you're untalented. That's the last thing I'm saying. I think you're incredibly talented. I'm not absolutely convinced that you're yet ready to take on that huge, great theatre because I know you a little bit now and I just think your, your nerves will get to you. I just don't think you're quite ready and I promise you I'm not saying this because I don't think you're great because you are. All right, well, Siobhan, that's what Andrew thinks but remember, it's the public. The yeah. public will decide who's Maria. If you at home want Siobhan to win, you can make it happen. Vote now. Call 90 21 or text Vote Siobhan to 87222.